Hey crafty friends, welcome to the Save the Crafty YouTuber Hop. My project for this hop is this Cricut card and I'm going to show you how to make that in just a minute. But first let me give you some information about all of the prizes that are available. There are over 125 prizes available. 50 of them are on random channels, so the more you comment, the better your chance of winning a prize. In order to win a prize, you must comment by November the 7th, and you must note in your comment whether you are from the U.S. or whether you're international. And Justine will announce the winners on November the 10th on her blog, and the link to that will be in the description. And the next stop on the hop is also in the description. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this card. Okay, let's get started on the card. I use the Celebration Stack from Die Cuts with a View. This is one of my favorite stacks by them. The colors are great for boys or girls, adults or children. And I like using coordinating stacks because everything always matches. This one has a mixture of foils and has some embossed ones and then it has some flat papers. So that's what I used. And I didn't use any solid card stock on this card at all. Even the background of the card, I used a piece of, it looks like grid paper. And um, by itself, it really didn't do much for me, but it'll work fine for a background card. This card, um, I started with an eight and a half by 11 sheet, and then I scored it in the center. So now I have uh, eight and a half by five and a half. And then this turquoise colored pad, it's got a very faint pattern on it. I'm going to attach it to the base of my card. And I'm using Easy Runner Adhesive. It's one of my favorites. Oops. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I have this pale yellow piece that I'm going to put down here and I'm going to punch a border on it first. This is an old punch from Martha Stewart. It's called Optic Dot. And when I punch borders, I do it upside down like this so I can see exactly where I'm punching. But I mean, some people do it right side up and then use the grid. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you find works. And I'm going to punch all the way across. I'm going to end up with a big mess here on my table. Okay, and I'm going to attach it on the bottom of the card, and I'm also going to use my tape runner again. And I'm going to line it up flush with the bottom. This is permanent adhesive, but you can see I was able to take it up pretty easily so I could get it lined up correctly. Okay, now we're gonna start on the birthday cake. I cut this birthday cake out using my Cricut Maker and a lot of people only use their makers and explore machines for cutting vinyl and um, felt and leather and fabric, but I really like using mine to make cards. And I'm gonna attach this. This is the base of the card. Um, you can find this image if you search for birthday cake under images. And, and if you don't have a Cricut, any type of uh, sticker or um, you know the three dimensional stickers or anything like that, anything that's kind of large with a birthday cake or maybe balloons or anything like that would work. And I got that lined up pretty good. And this little piece actually goes on the bottom. It is part of the cake stand. I'm going to use a glue pen for that. 
I'm going to be really careful not to get it on my mat. I really should have something under it, but I'm going to be really careful. And stick that down. Whoops. And then we have cake icing, which I cut out of a scalloped paper that was also in that stack. And I'm going to use tape runner for that. And the top layer also has icing on it. I've got two tips for you for cutting paper on your Cricut. And then I have, I have flames and then I have these little circles that are the cheeks. So my two tips are, number one, if you're having problems cutting it cleanly, cutting your paper cleanly and it's leaving ragged edges, it might be your blade. A fresh blade works much better on paper. Also, if you're using really thin paper, I find that sometimes it's difficult to get the pressure set correctly. Um, if you have a mat that's been, that has a lot of wear on it, sometimes that will do it. Um, I generally do not have any problems cutting thin or thick paper. I mean, I've cut glitter paper, I've cut poster board, I've also cut really thin paper. Um, if your paper is really thin, not like this, this has some good weight to it, but if you have the kind of printed paper that's really thin, I would get one of the light tack Cricut mats and try that because it's hard to get that thin paper off of a regular sticky mat without ripping it. Another tip that I have is if you're cutting something small, whether it's, you know, a little tiny circle or something the size of a cake or whether it's a title, cut your paper down to the size that your cut is going to be. Or, you know, cut it down maybe a little bit bigger. But don't use the whole 12 by 12 piece of paper onto your Cricut mat because it's really difficult to get the paper back up from the mat if you haven't cut the whole thing. And it's hard to get it up without ripping it or without having it wrinkled. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick on Happy Birthday. I think I want it tilted a little bit. And again, I'm gonna use my glue pen. This time I am gonna put something under this because I will have, I will have sticky glue all over my mat. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You could also use a liquid glue that has a real fine tip. That works really well too. Or if you have a Xyron machine, you could run your title through the Xyron. There we go. It down. I'm going to do it a little bit of an angle. There we go. And let's see, I think I'm going to put some pop dots under my cake. I like using pop dots or dimensionals or dimensional tape, whatever you want to call it, to give my cards some dimension. And then I cut these out. One of the papers in the stack has a border of these banners coming down the edge. So I cut some of those out and I'm going to add them down here in the lower left corner. And I'm going to use a glue pen again. I might have to push down to get some more adhesive to come down. There we go. I can see it coming out now. Let's 
celebrate here and then we'll do this light blue one but you see how all the colors go together and the patterns all match that's I really like using paper stacks for that reason and then here's polka dot pattern Oops. and put it right there and I had this little celebrate and actually I cut this off of the end of here it was too long but I didn't throw it away and I think I'm gonna stick it up here in the corner Stuck to my finger. Okay. Let's see. And then I have some of these little tiny dots that came out of the punch. I think I'm going to put a few of these around too. See, I have fingernails. I'm able to pick these dots up pretty good. But you're probably going to need tweezers for them. Let's see. I'm just going to put a couple of them around. Kind of make them look like confetti. Especially since they're just going in the trash anyway. And there you have it, crafty friends. A Cricut birthday card. And I already know who I'm going to send this one to. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment so that you will qualify for the prizes for the hop. And next to the comment, put whether you are U.S. or international. Have a great day.